Hi, my name is Jayanto and you are watching Physics in my way. So, uh, today's topic is all about technical assistant and scientific assistant or uh, be it junior technical superintendent in uh, various uh, research and education institute in India. So, today I will talk about how can be one of, uh, one of them, what are the job responsibilities, what is the educational qualification that you need for this kind of job and above all, how you can crack the exam, what are the different stages of the exam and how to prepare for this kind of exam in this video. So I request all of you for your own benefit, you watch the video till the end. So can I can cover all the topics in one shot. I think in India's top research institutes like IITs, ISROs, CSIR lab or NITs or any other research institutes in India. So whether you are from physics background, chemistry background or you are from engineering background as well, different institutes time to time release their advertisement and they take their exam for this kind of course. Let's break down how you can be technical assistant, scientific assistant or junior technical superintendent in prestigious organizations. Now before we start, here's a quick overview. In India, we have 23 IITs, over 31 NITs and over more than 20 plus ISRO centers in India. And apart from that, there are many research institutions. Time to time, this kind of institution take uh, this technical job. Now, technical assistants in NITs or CSIR labs, they help in conducting laboratories, handling equ equipments, and any other technical. Data. Scientific assistants, on the other hand, work similar like technical assistant, but they also help in conducting research work uh, with scientists, they help in completing projects, data analysis, data collection and data accumulation process. And junior technical superintendent, this post is also similar to technical assistant or scientific assistant, but this role is for IITs. But in all the scenario, more or less the uh, job role is set. Talking about the qualification, especially in physics, you need 60% uh, in physics with your bachelor's degree. Even people from BTEC background can also apply. Or various institutes also release advertisement. If you have a uh, master's degree with 50%, then you are also eligible for this course. For a technical assistant or junior technical superintendent in NIT, CSIR labs or IITs, you have to have age limit within 30 years for general category and you will have certain age relaxation depending on your category. On the other hand, scientific assistant, especially in ISRO center, you can apply till the age of 35 for general category students. Now, how do you get selected in one of these prestigious institutions? Time to time, they release their advertisement, you apply and you have to go to the stage one that will be your written examination, then you have to score good enough. In most of the cases, the cutoff varies somewhere from more than 65% to 85 or 90% as well. So you have to really work hard for that. And written exams in various institutions also covers maths, reasoning, but most of the importance will be on your subject that you are applying from, whether be it, be it chemistry, whether be it is some engineering background or whether you can be from physics background now at the last stage after you clear your written examination then they you will be called for skill test or interview especially in nits and iits and csir labs you have to qualify the skill test sometimes it is qualifying in nature but sometimes it is difficult because there are more than 400 to 450 experiments throughout all the universities they are teaching so you have to have good knowledge in your experimental part then can you can easily qual qualify this written test then it depends on the institutes how they are preparing the merit list. They can add the ex examination uh, final merit from the written marks plus the interview or from the skill test. Then you will be shortlisted for the final selection process. But in the case of Department of Atomic Energy, they specially conduct interviews after after the written examination. They will call for you interviews and the selection will be mainly based on your performance on the interview and this interview is nothing but other examinations like whether it is a phd level interview they can start from the basics as well and they can really go into deeper the subject so based on your experience also if you have some project experience or if you have some prior research experience they can ask you from that 
in some other day i will discuss my experiences at rrcat at nizer at, at istro and at various nids so in future i will upload that video you please go through that video to crack this examination you have to have the strong fundamental knowledge in your own subject and at the same time you have to have the capabilities of handling instruments whether it can be research level or it is can be as a bsc level as well but most of the cases the examination will be based on your bsc or btech syllabus for engineering students so you have to complete the new cbcs syllabus uh, on your uh, bsc day. now with uh, 23 iits 31 nits and 31 csir labs and more than 20 plus isro center the opportunity is fast but it's just a matter of fact that you have to apply on their websites on timely basis because the vacancies are, are not very much regular you have to keep visiting their websites and then only you have to uh, give your examination and believe me it's a 3 to 4 month of preparation if you can give your 3 to 4 months dedicatedly for this kind of examination surely you can go through this also in coming days i will try to upload educational videos depending on the bsc topics especially on experimental part that i will cover in the in some playlist so uh, let me know how many of you are interested in watching those playlist so that i can quickly make all those videos and upload on the youtube now typically talking about the salary structure technical assistant is nits in csir labs or other institutions they offer a uh, salary in the level 6 of the 7 cbc pay matrix and scientific assistant especially in isro they offer you higher salaries with uh, level 7 in the 7 cbc pay matrix so let me quickly just show you what is the salary in the level 6 calculator so it is basically a group b post it is non gadgeted you get a salary of uh, 4200 grade pay which is equivalent to sub inspector in cbi or sub inspector in narcotics uh, that you get this selection through ssc cgl but you if you can really imagine the competition is really high out there but if you can uh, qualify this kind of examination in this institution you can get the same level of salary so if you go to this website you just select the level 6 this is your initial basic pay 35400 then you can see in class xd currently it is 71070 so this will be your gross salary but obviously there will be some deduction there will be nps deduction of almost 5500 plus there will be some deduction for your medical allowances so in hand roughly you will get 63 to 64000 in the class x city and if you go to class y city then your gross salary will be 67530 rupees and there will be again nps deduction of 5500 to 600 so in hand you will get 61000 to 62000 in your hand and for the class z city the gross salaries will be slightly lower because of the lower travel allowance and uh, lower hra but uh, your interview nps deduction will be same in all the cases so here you will get a salary of 59000 rupees and for the class z city and where the hra is 10% the gross salary is 61200 now if you are in the same post but in isro with a scientific assistant designation you will start from salary of level 7 that is a grade pay of 4600 and your initial basic pay will be 44900 which is equivalent to the gst inspector or any inspector post in the central government and your gross pay will be 88645 rupees and there will be a nps deduction of roughly around 7000 rupees so in hand we will get somewhere between 76 to 81 rupees in your hand and for the class y city it will be 84155 and there will be again nps deduction of 6000 to 7000 and in the class z city where your hra is 10% your gross salary will be 76875 you can say it is a pretty good salary and you can expect uh, at least 15 to 20% hike in the 8 pay commission in that scenario your level 6 salary will be somewhere roughly close to 8 to 5000 in gross and for the level 7 it will be roughly 1 lakh and 10000 in gross this is my expectation so if you can qualify this kind of exam 
you will be financially stable and most importantly you will be related to your subject so i hope uh, you have you have liked this video and if you have not still watched my story why i have left phd it madras in the i button you click on the video and please go through that so it will give you a better idea why i have left the phd program and i hope many candidates can relate with me as well so these are the jobs which is other option that you can give after your bsc or after your msc in uh, various institutions that's for it today i will meet you in another video in another topic stay tuned for that